Alright, so I got a package today and I'm pretty excited about this one. This is the ECS Street Shield skid plate. The box is pretty beat up, and especially along this edge. It looks like it is wrapped inside in paper, so I mean hopefully the hardware and everything should still be in there. And we've been talking a lot about weight reduction on the car. And of course this is going to add some weight. I think it's 17 pounds. I'll get it over here so you can see it better. I'm just sort of looking it over. Got the ECS logo up here. ECS Street Shield. I mean there's a few nicks on it. If you can see here this tab. And it looks like it was dropped on this corner. You know that's bent up to my thumb. So there's the current conditions. You know, 26, the high is only going to be 32. But, I mean, it's only going to get colder as winter goes, so. You know, we got the ECS tuning skid plate here. We're going to throw that underneath. And then we have the hatch pop kit and some other stuff that we might get to later on today, but maybe tomorrow. And I just wanted to get a shot of the clearance and stuff before the skid plate and after. Um, I'm not sure if I'll have less clearance with it or not. I'll get a better shot from the side view of how low this one sticks down. So you can see this is the pan here that we'll be replacing this plastic part. And I have a tape measure. It's tough to get it under there and hold the camera. But I mean, I'd say you're looking at like four inches of clearance under there at the lowest part, probably a little more, a little less. So here we have both of them for comparison. You have the plastic belly pan here, this is the stock piece. And right here we have the ECS Street Shield, and that's pretty much how it goes on. You can see the cooling fins, you know, are in the same slot that these ones are. Pretty straightforward. Actually, there's one more on this one. Huh, interesting. I don't have my laptop with me, but on the ECS instructions, it mentions this slot here. You know, you have to have a uh, hole in your radiator support for the mounting plate. So if you go here to the stock panel, you know, it would be your middle fin right here. And there's no hole in this one. But there is a hole underneath. So you just have to insert one of these little, you know, metal guys that the screw goes into and you know we should be good for that middle tab there pretty sure that's the one we do first so if you've ever changed your oil then you probably know how to take this pan off it's just four screws on each side and then three screws along the back on the subframe and then once you take those screws out you just slide it towards the rear of the car and you'll probably want eye protection because sand and pebbles get stuck up there and fall down on you I was filming this part with the GoPro in the housing so the audio wasn't too good so I just have to narrate over it. And here you have the metal clips that came with the ECS kit and you just slide them onto the plastic and there's the hole in the radiator support. Here you can see the clips that came on the R32 that are the same. So I was missing one clip so I was able to replace that and they give you all new hardware so if you're missing all the clips you can replace them all and you just slide it over with the flat part on the top and then line the hole up. For the subframe bolts the middle one is going to be the shortest one and the long two on the outside will take the two spacers on each corner. You just put all the screws in loosely at the start and you do the front one by the radiator support first and then the center one in the back and then the two outer ones in the back. All right, so that's what it looks like when it's all installed and you know, we got all the fasteners tightened up there. Got all the back ones tightened up. I was thinking about, you know, it said if this hole wasn't already in your car, you had to drill it into the little plastic there and then insert the clip. And they give you plenty of these extra clips. I mean, they give you enough to replace every one on your car. So I have some extra ones and I'm thinking about, you know, drilling through here and you know, maybe making a couple more support screw holes because I have the extra tabs and screws, why not? I mean, it's pretty secure, but still. If you can tell, I like to go overboard with the fasteners. Here's the Cooper lip and you know, plenty of screws on that. 
didn't skimp on those, then you can see it's held up to the scrapes and abuse good. This seems to be one of the low points on my car. I mean, I don't know why I just don't take this stupid piece right off. Like that's lower than the Cooper lip and it's just sort of nothing. It's just this extra stupid lip that scrapes the ground and gets in the way. But you know, I was just over here at the door and I really like that shot of it, you know, pretty cool. I really like these wheels. I saw the MK6 GTI wheels online for sale with some winter tires and I do need winter tires. But I mean, they had about the same amount of curbage as my front one does here. So it's like, I don't really want to buy, I think they were like 600. And it's got like a scuff like that and it's like, come on. Maybe if I can get them for like four. I sold the other ones for four, the Advanti Racing wheels and tires. And I got to use my new light today, you know, the LED kind. Because this light, I'm so sick of using these shitty lights with these light bulbs that blow out every two seconds. It's dead now, actually. So I'm just using it as an extension cord. Way better than those, and I mean, you don't have to worry about it blowing out when you spray some PV blaster on it or anything like that. Exploding in your face. So yeah, let's see. ECS tuning street shield skid plate So like and subscribe check out my channel for more r32 videos Weekly modifications updates events stuff like that Maybe some autocross days. There's some winter autocross coming up, but they jack the price up by a hundred bucks I'm not like come on now Who's gonna pay a hundred dollars more to go autocross in the winter than they would in the summer? That doesn't make sense you know, pretty happy with that install. There you can see it better. You know, turn the camera fully upside down. Not bad, I'm pretty happy with it. We'll see, it adds quite a bit of weight to the front, but I'm always nervous when my tires are in like the other grooves of other car tires in the road. And then there's like the high spot in the middle and it's like, eh, I never know how close I am. <laughs>